Once the ELD500 has completed its startup sequence and is in standby mode, it's ready to test. Connect the part to be tested to the inlet port and press start. It's as easy as that. For this demonstration, I'm going to use an external calibrated leak first in order to simulate an actual leak. I'm connecting this calibrated leak to the test port using a centering ring and clamp. Once connected, press the start button and the test port will pump down. Once the test port has reached 15 millibar or 11 tor, the unit automatically switches to test mode. You can see that the indicated leak rate drops quickly. The reading indicated is a direct reflection of the helium from the atmosphere in the test port being rapidly pumped away by the ELD500's turbo pump system. This occurs very quickly because the ELD500's vacuum system is designed for rapid cleanup of residual helium. This allows the unit to be ready for test quickly and enables it to recover if the test port gets flooded with helium during testing. I'll open the leak test valve now and you can see the indicated leak rate rapidly rises, stabilizing at the test leak's level. You can see how quickly the ELD500 recovers when I close the test leak's valve. Pressing stop returns the ELD500 to standby but leaves the test port under vacuum. Pressing and holding stop again, vents the test port and you can then remove the piece under test. For more information, please visit the Edwards Vacuum website or contact your local Edwards Vacuum representative. I'm David Steele and this is the Edwards ELD500 Precision Leak Detector.